Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where, I'm sorry, I feel like last episode I was a little like subdued and I apologize for that. Um, it's, a, it's a little weird being in a different room and again I'm always anxious that people can hear me and are like gonna complain. Um, but I am very excited to be in Ma an Omega in Mass Effect 2. This is so weird to see like to see this in like such a nice I don't know, like, like a graphics upgrade. Like, it's a terrible, ugly place. But, like, it's so weird. Oh, look, 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 look. Here's a Vorcha. It's a Vorcha. Oh, jeez. human. Tell Captain Gavorn we not kill anyone today. I don't know a Captain Gavorn. Why would I tell him anything? Not trust you. Tell Gavorn we know he tricks. We not kill anyone today. There seem to be a lot of Vorcha on Omega. You Go away. Talk too much. Gavorn's thugs get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. <laughs> no more talk. We know Gavorn's tricks. We leave. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Oh my gosh. Anyway, for those who don't know, these are Vorcha. They're very aggressive. Oh, this is the basement of the of the club. These guys are just chilling outside it. Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, we'll talk to you. We'll see how this goes. Hello there. Might interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person. <laughs> but you can't breathe a word of it to Harry. Don't trust me. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. That's the thing. <laughs> He's too... Poor little Corian is too trusting, even after being jaded from being here. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut it, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. It's the kid's too honorable, right? Like this is Omega. Like it, it, he's not a very good businessman, you know. Also, why would you go to Omega on your pilgrimage? Maybe he was like, I want to live life on the edge, and then he got here and he was like, Oh, this sucks. <laughs> the edge sucks. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need one thousand. That's it. To pay my way. That's it. But I couldn't let you do. I that. am. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. And sometimes you have to learn the hard way that relying on other good people is necessary to get out of sticky situations. Here you go. A thousand credits. Get out of here. I... Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. The Aquarians don't deserve this, you know what I mean? Like, poor kids just trying to, like, get out there and do something for the world. Uh, I want that. This is valuable. No, I cannot. Oh, oh my gosh, these. Th oh my gosh, I am running. I am running out of money. I'm not used to this. Shotgun. Oh my gosh. I'm not used to being so low on money. I'm like used to having as much money as I want. Anyway, this was the door to get us. That secondary door that I was looking at last episode. I love hearing the news in the background, honestly. It does seem to repeat itself, but. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> also, Omega would legit be an excellent place to like take some really cool photos. Don't mind me just getting a look at all the like textures and stuff on places that I don't usually see. So you can see like the actual asteroid, like how they built around it. It's really cool. Look at that. I don't know, it's just really cool. Like, Omega is like just a giant city inside of a, like a hollowed out asteroid where the desperate and the evil come to play. You know what I mean? It's cool. Hey. Okay. This way. To figure out quarantine stuff. Complaining is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. Uh, also, she's <laughs> considering our current plague thing. She's being really terrible. <laughs> it's like the the anti vaxxers and like the anti maskers, you know, where it's like, well, well it doesn't affect me. Blah, blah, blah. It's like you could carry it to other people, and this plague does. In this instance, it doesn't affect humans, but it does affect every other species out there. So she could be like a walking death knoll for like anybody else that she comes in contact with. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can <laughs> Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. It's, uh, like, he really is, I think, like, trying to, like, keep, you know, keep people safe, even a human, you know? I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Talok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. There's a Salarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? That crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the blue suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Let's figure it out. Whoa, um, nature of the plague. Tell me more about this plague. That starts out as a cough. Then you start coughing blood. And, well, then I shoot you. <laughs> it affects multiple species. Turians, Salarians, Krogan, you name it. Only humans are immune. And Vorcha, if you count them. An airborne disease that takes down multiple races? Can't let that spread. Hence the quarantine. Mm. I didn't think diseases could cross species barriers. Turians and Salarians can't even eat the same food. Right. Most people figure that it has to be synthetic. Somebody engineered it. And it either got loose or they're testing it here. And seeing as how humans are immune to the plague and doing a fair bit of looting, a lot of people think humans made it. I uh, could not, I can't blame you for that. Honestly, it makes a lot of sense. Um, I think the humans are just the only ones taking advantage of the situation because they're the only ones that can move in there. <laughs> but still, it doesn't look good, you know? Any idea where I can find Morden's clinic? Not a clue. What do you care? The place is quarantined, remember? Yeah. Wait, I didn't Ooh. think diseases right. could be Seeing as how humans are immune blue to the plague and doing a Who are the blue sons? Mercenary gang that runs the district. At least they used to. The guys are mostly Turian. I heard the plague hit them pretty hard. Now the whole district is up for grabs. I hear the Vorcha are making a move. The plague can't hurt them. Immune to disease. This guy is very well informed. There's one more reason you don't want to go in there. He's he's very well informed, which is nice to have a guard who's well informed on like the local politics and like you know the scientific you know, like uh, what's the word like gossip I guess for uh, reasons and. 
for like what's why what's happening is happening seems fairly you know reasonable but uh, I'm going in there listen you're stuck here till this quarantine's over that could take weeks what you really need is to get this problem solved right now that's what I do solve <laughs> that's problems. what I do let me in and I'll get this district straightened out <laughs> you think you can fix this why not quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway I'll radio ahead tell them you're coming that was in. that was easy wait you're stopping me but not them you son of a bitch you don't have a grenade launcher <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. You know, now that I think about it, um, you can get people out of order from Morden because I have one time, without thinking, brought a particular individual, Archangel, we'll say. I brought an Arch Archangel in, and Archangel is not human. And uh, I was like, oh no! Especially because it's somebody that I care about very much. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I'm a monster! But he was he was like, he's like, it'll be fine, you know, it's okay, I'll, I'll be fine, or whatever. And like, I ended up bringing him in, but um, but this time, I only have three humans. So yeah, this is fine. Oh, let's see, I did, did I buy, I did buy Geth Plasma Shot. Hmm. I don't know. I don't remember. We'll see. Two options. The Matic. I don't think I like the Matic. It's a semi-assault hybrid weapon. Blah, 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 blah. And a sniper rifle. Punch. I think it's something that... What's his name would like? We're stuck. Hang on, let me. <laughs> okay, this is this is gonna be this is gonna be very fun. I am very excited. Oh snap! Oh no, blue suns. Okay, but it's not the guy he was talking about earlier. The like independent guys, freelancers that are being told to keep the quarantine in effect. It was pretty easy to get in here, honestly, but I think it does help that I look like somebody who can solve problems, not just somebody who... Don't shoot, they're clear to come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised they let Turians in here. Honestly, I would think her quarantine force would be, um, human. Especially the ones inside. I don't think you can pay me enough to, like, hang out in the quarantine zone if I wasn't human, you know? Look at all this stuff. Stuff, stuff. Filing cabinet boxes. This must be like piles of loot, maybe? You can hear the coughing in the background if I shut up ever. But I don't. So. You don't get to hear it. <laughs> Good luck in there. Blue suns and Vorcha shooting anything that moves. I'm going in. Hey, are you guys friendly? You're We've been spotted. Oh, oh my gosh, hang on. Mm. I can't. I still can't aim with a shotgun. Great control at its most basic. Pile the bodies in the street and burn them. It's it is at its most basic, right? But yes, he's not he's not wrong. These are piles of bodies in what was probably supposed to be like a garden area or something or a water feature. And they're left to burn. Let's talk to you. Human. Should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <laughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morden Solace. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcher burned Morden and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you... <coughs> I hope... <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Hey, stay with me. The 
This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. Because I am a nice person, dang it. It's what I do. It's what I, I do. I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Not head Your nod. Words sound sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? Truly. What do you wish to know? I know. I am just. I am painfully nice. I just want everybody to like me. <laughs> Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <laughs> A human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Oh, that's a good point. And besides, the Vorcha also aren't true. smart enough to make a virus they are not. like this. They're scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. You may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. It truly does. I wonder that there's like, gl there's like neon signs pointing right at us. That's not suspicious at all. I need to find Morden Solus. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. Also, like, if you're gonna die, anyway, why not just take the risk, you know? What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Suns. Tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. Ooh, <laughs> snap! Uh, we'll meet Morden, and he's very much the kind of guy that would do that, but not in like a vicious way, in, in a very clinical way. Like, oh yes, this will appeal to like the base psychology of those who would like attempt to harm me and those I protect, so therefore I will do this so that I can, you know, <laughs> make it so they won't do it again. When I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <laughs> My time is running short, but at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my I <laughs> just keep powers. thinking of that guy. I wanna die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. I keep thinking of that guy when it's like talking about the plague progression and it's just like, well, you cough and then you cough blood and then I and then I shoot you. And I'm like, oh, that's descriptive. Uh, Borcha. You were talking about Borcha earlier. Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. But as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. Truly. I should go. Bring it, Miranda. Miranda's like skulking in the background. I am so- look how freaking nice I am. Look how nice I am. Mm-hmm. Avoid red codes. Yep. Okay. Mm. Oh, this one... Oh, what? Why can't I... What? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's right. Okay, I wasn't reading it beforehand. Okay, we're good. I know now. Um, okay. For some reason, I thought it was, um... It was like the other one where I'm trying to find the matching code fragments within, like, the ones that are scrolling. Didn't... I can't read. I'm illiterate. And uh, even when I read the directions, I was like, yeah, uh huh, I know what to do. I find myself doing that a lot. I don't seem to 
have the patience anymore. <laughs> uh, oh, no map. Let me see then. This door might actually be not the way to go, but a dead end room. Which is what I look for. Ooh. I don't need any, but I've got money instead. That's nice. Can I do this? Like, coughing in the background gives me, like, low-key anxiety. And not just, I don't I think it's got to do, in part, <laughs> with COVID. <laughs> like, usually it's like, oh, wow, it's like I can hear the plague victims coughing in the background. That's so immersive, and now I'm like, COVID! COVID! Tried to claw his way out. Can't say I wouldn't do the same. I am just, I, the coughing is going to drive me insane. Plague has a whole other host of like visceral emotional responses in me now than it used to, you know? Like, even if it's just little, like, I don't know, you live through a plague, and even though, like, obviously it wasn't like our plague, I don't know, we didn't have bodies piled in the streets, but they were converting airports into like, you know, funeral homes and stuff. Like, I don't know, it wasn't this bad, but like, it's still surviving something like that does. Or even imprint on like a like a so like a collective social memory and also upon individuals. And I don't know, man. And the coughing is just making me like Ugh. it hurts me. Ugh. Also, like, who did they have to like you know do all this like voice acting? They're like, like, we need you to cough into a mic, like, for, like, 40 minutes. And even if that was the idea... So like it's it's emphasizing that like the plague is so much more than just the sickness itself, which is terrifying in and of itself, but like looting, gang warfare, like starvation, like loss of supplies and resources, like it's all. It's all something that you got to deal with. Can I let me try this? Okay. 
can't aim. Good thing Masad's here. Zaid. Why did I... Why did I... What's his full name? Isn't it Masad Zaid? <laughs> I was like, why did I call him that? I actually vaguely recall... Oh, never mind. Hang on, hang on. Let me come to you. Let me... All this combat, I tell you what. Anyone else want some? I refuse. <laughs> My combat is so bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna edit it all out from now on. <laughs> Unless something really cool happens or I do something extra awesome. Oh yeah, okay. There you are. Oh, thank God, you're human. When we saw that door open, we thought those Turians had found us. You guys are dressed too nice to be here. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. Well... You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. It's a compliment, I guess. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns' territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. How do you know? What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. And it's not like, you know, a nice quarantine where, like, you're still trying to, like, help the people that are sick. It's literally a quarantine that, like, uh, the Arya is just hoping, letting the plague run its course. Everybody's gonna die from the gangs or the plague, and then they'll come in and clean up later, you know? Like, it's not... They're not trying to help people. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. Then this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. I'm looking for a slayer and find Morden Solus. <laughs> oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now, trying to help plague victims, offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure, 
A doctor with military grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. <laughs> I would make that exact face if a man was like, grow up. I'd, I'd just be like, you're, you're, about to, you're about to lose something you treasure very dearly. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Sense heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. On Omega? Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Solarian might offer me sanctuary. You don't have pistols and you live on Omega? Like, what do you have then? Like, machetes? You gotta have something. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. I'm gonna be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorchas, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. You're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, this is not just a tiny area. It's a war of an area. People could get, you know, Vorcha could climb out of the sewers. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just going to take your stuff. Um, my last spending spree was quite expensive. So, um, I need your money. <laughs> not that I'm doing an extortion racket or anything. Teehee. I need those hundred creds. Anyway, I should probably call this episode here. But welcome to Plague Hell, everybody. Again. <laughs> uh, don't worry, Morden gets a vaccine and everybody takes it. Like, like reasonably intelligent people. Unlike how often happens nowadays, apparently. <laughs> but yes, thank you all so much for watching. Um, Oh yes, thank you to my patrons. I want to give a thank. I want to say thank you to all my patrons, but to especially my sampling patrons. Thank you, Scalamonger, and thank you, Rescalito. Thank you both so much. I really appreciate your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my tree tier patron and who is the super bestest. And I appreciate you a ton, <laughs> like super a lot. So thank you so much, and I hope to see you all in the next one.